Okay, so I'm going to solve these problems, and uh, this is something that you all have to understand. Okay, so you have to practice until you get it. Okay, so first, this is temperature conversion. Very important for all of these calculations, we have to use the Kelvin, right? That's spelled Kelvin, C E L V I N, Kelvin. Okay, we can't use the centigrade. So we have to convert it. What do we do? We add 237. Okay, C plus that is equal to K. That's our formula. So let's write that down. Degrees Kelvin is, you write this one first, plus, okay, is equal to, dun 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 dun. This is easy, but it's necessary. Every time you use any of these uh, formulas, it has to be in Kelvin. You can't use degrees centigrade. No. Okay? No. So that's A. What's B? Degrees Kelvin is 2. Now, the reason you, you put this one first is so that if it's minus, you won't be confused, right? just goes automatically to that. It's 270 degrees Kelvin. Okay? And that's all it is. And again, you have to convert it temperature always. And this is, in case you didn't know, this is temperature. Okay? And that's another skill that you have to know. Sure. You have to be able to identify based on the units whether it's temperature pressure or volume. Okay, so here the opposite. So how do you do that? Well, you have to subtract. So it's um, K minus 273 is equal to C. Okay, that's your formula. So A, what is it? You're looking now for degrees C, okay, is equal to what? Uh, 67 degrees K minus 273 is equal to, okay, negative, look, because this is 206 degrees centigrade, okay? Letter B, degrees centigrade is equal to, one degrees Kelvin minus this is equal to okay put a box on your answers always so that your teacher can find it easily right okay here is the problem okay we're gonna go with this so the first thing that you have to do is circle anything that has a number. And looking at that, what is that? That's volume. So you write V1. Look at this. This is pressure, right? P1. Look at this. What is this? That's pressure again, so that's P2. And what are you looking for? What? Volume. Sometimes that's confusing because you hear the word temperature, but that is not part of it. It's volume. So you're looking for V2. And you write that down like that so you'll know. Okay, now I gave you a cheat sheet. And you're going to have to look at this each time. And look at that. Here we have P and V. P and V. So look. This is the only one that has P and V. So that is our formula. You're going to write that here. P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Okay. Okay, solution. You're looking for this one. So V2. How do you get V2? Well, you have to mo move this over there. That becomes the denominator here. 
So it's going to be P1 over P2 times V1. Okay? And now you have to substitute your values. Okay? So look, where's P1? You've already designated it. This is P1. 104.1. And you have to write the units. You have to write the units to make sure that you have the same units. They cancel out. If they don't cancel out, you have to convert. Okay? That should be clear to everybody by now. Units are important. They tell you if your solution is right or not. You don't have the right units. You don't even have to go any further. That's already wrong. Okay? Cancel. Okay. And use your calculator. Hopefully you know how. And we find the answer to be... Okay, don't trust my answers, okay? Do the calculations yourself. Don't be lazy. Sometimes teachers make mistakes. And you can say, oh, but you don't worry. Okay, whatever. Okay, so again, how do we solve this? Circle anything that has... What is this? DM cube? That's volume, okay? That is decimeter. Decimeter means 10 centimeters. That's all it is. We don't even care. Okay, this is T1. This one is T2. What are you looking for? Find the volume. So, V2. And then you write it like this, question mark. Right? Okay. Then we look at our cheat sheet. This time we have T and V. So we look. Where is it? Ooh, there it is. Okay? So we write that down. T V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. Okay? Now look. Again, what are we looking for? V2. And how do we get that? This you have to put over there because you're cross-multiplying or you take it away. So it's T2 over T1. So write it here. T2 over T1 times V1. Okay? Look how pretty that is. Here is the tricky part. You can't use centigrade. You have to convert it into Kelvin, but you're welcome to do it during the solution. So 273, and that's V1, T2, which is this one. Right? T2. That's T1. Minus degrees centigrade. Okay, and then you put plus three eight degrees centigrade. Okay, and then what is V? There. Okay, eight nine eight dm cubed. Sheesh. Of course. <laughs> okay, one more time. Just going to go through this. So, we looked for, this is V1. This is T1, right? This is T2. And we're looking for the volume, so that's V2. And we looked over here, and what did we find? This is our formula, which has V and T and V and P. Okay, so we have that. And what are you looking for? You're looking for this one. So you have to multiply this to the other side so it becomes T2 over T1. T2 over T1 times V1. There's V1. Okay, but here you have to convert. Can't use centigrade. So this, has, this is now Kelvin. And the denominator is Kelvin. And they cancel each other out. Okay, and so what is the answer for this? Okay. Okay. So look at this. This will obviously be smaller than this, so we expect the answer has to be less than 80 whatever that was. 8.97. And so the answer here that I got is this. Again, please check the math, the computations, okay? You're responsible for verifying. Okay, let's try the third one. 
this time I want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing okay again all you have to do is circle and figure out what is that centimeter cube is volume so that is uh, V1 okay this one is temperature so that's T1 this one is ooh pressure so that's P1 oh dear that's complicated so let's look at our samples we're looking for look at that we are looking for P V and T and so look here we have one so no need to panic and so again we write that down what we have to also find out is what are we looking for It's volume so V2 alright so what do we write P1 PV over T P V over T so just remember the temperature is always in the denominator so this is 1 1 1 2 2 2 okay okay so we are solving for this so we have to multiply this over there so it's going to be T2 over T1 so we'll write that down V2 is equal to T2 over T1 okay and then what we have to multiply this there so it's going to be P1 over P2 so P1 over P2 and then what are we left with V1 so V1 okay and we have to convert the temperatures but first oh dear we don't even have T2 what is STP standard temperature and pressure okay and again look at our cheat sheets and here we have under standard conditions if you did not understand that this is temperature write the T this is temperature okay standard temperature zero or this one always this one we don't need the zero because that's centigrade and we need pressure okay this is standard pressure is all of these one atmosphere 760 millimeters of mercury or 76 centimeters which is just this divided by 10 of that and the, this one the unit is kilo pascal okay that unit that's supposed to be the unit for this so of course a kilopascal is 1000 so you multiply this by 1000 and you'll get this okay or inches in mercury we're not interested in that because that's the English we don't like inches okay any one of these is a standard pressure this whole thing is standard pressure okay so what are we interested in because what we're given is KP we need this okay we need this one okay 101 so let's write that down first what is our T2 273 K what is our T1 it's 273 uh, plus 23.5 Okay, I hope everybody understands that. So that's this over that. This is our, our T2 is at STP, so standard condition. Okay, what is our P1? Our P1 is here. Look, P1. It is what? 84.6 kPa, kilopascals. Okay, and you divide that by what is the standard look what is the standard pressure okay here we have all these choices it is 101 kilopascals that's the amount of pressure at atmospheric temperature that's how much you feel right now okay alright so write that down 101 try to memorize it it's the most used of all of the pressure okay and then the volume just write it as it is Okay, and what's the answer?
the answer is I got 166 okay can we tell if it's going to be bigger or smaller not when you have both changing both right but it turns out that yes it is smaller so that means that the pressure has increased and it does look pressure increased and the temperature decreased so both of those things will ch tend to make the volume go down okay 